Hey guys, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So this is going to be a review video on this Renogy 100 watt 12 volt solar panel. There's a link in the description where you can pick this up. Be sure and like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to the video, you guys. Let's check this out. All right, so best uses for this Renogy 100 watt 12 volt solar panel are going to be for anybody that has one of the solar power stations like I've got the little Duracell or your Jackery uh, RVing camping, small cabins like this right here, boating, uh, off-grid living, uh, anybody that's a sportsman that's going to spend a lot of time outdoors or just out in nature. All right, here's a close-up look at our uh, Renogy 100 watt 12 volt solar panel on the front side. Take a closer look at the back here and at the hookups. Now, like I say, I've had this thing for a year and a few months now. It's been through some weather. It's been beaten up a little bit. Here's our hookups on the back. Here's our little uh, controller box. Our little module right here. Notice the pre-drilled holes on this unit so you can mount this on an RV, on a boat, on a camper, on the cabin. Easy to mount. All right, so as far as dimensions on this go, we're looking at 20 inches wide by 42 and a half inches in length by an inch and a half depth. All right, so the weight on this Renogy solar panel is 14.3 pounds. Okay, I'm gonna go hook this up to the uh, Duracell power source that I'm running in the cabin over here. So let's go hook this up and see how it works. All right, so I had to buy a Anderson connector. This goes to the Duracell power source, plugs into that solar battery. And then this is about a 25 foot run. This goes to the solar panel, this other end here of the cable. Our red plugs into the positive right here, black to black. Those connectors just snap together right there. And let's go hook this up to the Duracell. All right, Renogy solar panel is hooked up. Now you come in and you want to plug in your Anderson connectors. And you want red to red, black to white. Just plug those in like that. You'll notice it's got a little solar panel symbol right here where you plug those in on the back of your Duracell power source. Now that that's plugged in, we're gonna flip around the power source and see if we've got it charging. Got a charge light, that's a good thing. Let's turn on the Duracell. If you look carefully at the screen there, you've got the little solar panel symbol. It's all lit up. And we've got a little battery indicator showing it's uh, receiving solar charge. 12.3 volt incoming. All right, and there's our Renogy 100 watt 12 volt solar panel in its natural environment. It's like it's getting full sun and it is now powering the uh, Duracell power source inside the cabin. So testing these outputs with an electrical meter, it showed up from anywhere from 71 watt up to 102 watt, depending on the sunlight. All right, current price on this Renogy 100 watt 12 volt solar panel is $92.99. There is a link in the description where you can pick this up. Be sure and check that out. All right, let's go over the strong points of this Renogy 100 watt solar panel starting right now. Strong point number one, this thing can take all the weather conditions, the snow, the ice, the rain, the heat, you name it. I love that fact. All right, strong point number two, the solar panel comes mountable. So it's ready to go for cabins, for boats, for campers, for RVs, for living off grid. This thing is just ready to go. Okay, strong point number three, the high efficiency of the solar panel. So the sun goes behind a cloud or you get a little bit of shading on it, it still is kicking out some pretty high wattage. I love that. Unlike some solar panels, you get a little bit of shading and it just drops almost to zero. All right, strong point number four, it's a small but sturdy solar panel. So you get a lot of power out of a small panel. All right, let's go over some of the drawbacks of the Renogy 100 watt solar panel starting right now. Okay, so drawback number one, and this is not personally, this is from everything that I could find from reading online, because I have not had any personal issues with this. Somebody had mentioned that the soldering on one of their solar panels they got 
was not all the way connected. I'll bring the camera in. We'll look at this really closely. All right, so here's a little bit better look at the solder joints that I was talking about. Somebody had complained about one of their solar panels. Now this particular panel does not have any bad solder joints in it that I can see. And I do IT support all day long for the last 25 years. Not a single bad solder joint on this board. All right, so drawback number two, the only other thing I could come up with that some people had mentioned was that their customer support was less than ideal. Apparently they weren't great at communicating or at returning panels or swapping out panels when something was broken. And this was just a couple of people that had mentioned that. Um, I have not personally dealt with their customer support because I have not had any problems with this. I've owned this for a year and three months no problems whatsoever it's put out a lot of great power it's worked fantastically for the duracell that i run all right so my conclusion on the renogy 100 watt 12 volt solar panel if you guys are really wondering on this the price is right it's under a hundred bucks it's small it's compact it puts out a ton of power even in a shaded environment i would go out and get this thing i would give it two thumbs up i would recommend you guys go buy this thing I love this panel. It's sturdy, it's durable, it's mountable, and it's weatherproof. So go pick it up, you guys. There's a link in the description. I love it. All right, so hopefully this video has been really helpful for everybody out there looking at solar panels. Also, be sure and check out the link in the description where you can pick the solar panel up. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out, you guys. Check out these other videos I've got going on, and I'll catch you guys later.